guys, welcome back to another video. I've got a question for you. Have you guys been interested in speedrunning Minecraft? Now, some of you may have been looking on the internet and found out about speedrunning and you wanted to get into it, but you didn't know how to make a speedrunning portal. Now, these portals are actually not too difficult if you know how to do them properly. So let me show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to be showing you two different types of ways to enter the nether. Let's get started. Alright, so when you start, when you're in a speedrun, now if you don't have these things, the specific things you do need though is the iron pickaxe, the flint and steel, and the water bucket. So what you're going to be looking for in a world is a lava pool because, well, first of all, when water goes above lava, it makes obsidian. So we're going to use this to make a portal. We're going to come to our lava pool, and we're going to try and look for like a four block stretch of lava. Like you can tell this is a very long stretch of lava here. Um, this is only one, that's like three. If we want a longer stretch, you can always place blocks to make that stretch like this. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this four block stretch of lava. We're just going to crouch and face this way. Now, you can tell in these two middle blocks of the four, we're going to choose one. We're going to place a block right here. Now, next to that, we're going to place the water in the middle. And that'll make these two pieces obsidian. Now, we're going to break this one. Which will make our frame of the bottom. Now you can tell the bottom is not going to always be filled with obsidian. The only way this happens is if the lava is two blocks deep. It can only be one block deep sometimes. So we just mine this cobble. Grab a lava bucket. Lava from here using that. And we place it right here. It'll turn to obsidian. Now we're going to use this by having a specific setup. Placing the water so it flows down, and we can just place lava buckets to make the shape of a nether portal. So how we do this is, we're going to pick up our water, we're going to choose one of these two corners, I'm just going to choose the left one here, and we're going to place three, three blocks like that. And then one pointing towards the lava, and this is going to make an L looking shape as you can see. Right on the opposite side, opposite corner, we're going to place a block and one next to it. So there's a gap between these two and this pole here. Now, on the opposite side of this L, you're going to go ahead and on this opposite corner, you're going to place a block and one next to it to make this kind of bar shape. And we're going to make sure there's a space between the L and this bar shape. Now, we're just going to double check, is there anything back here that'll block the water from flowing? Because we have nothing back here, we should be fine. But just make sure to check that when you're doing it. I'm going to grab our water bucket now. And on the far corner of this L shape, we're going to place the water. Now, it should flow perfectly into here. Um, as you can see, if, if it didn't work, it does take a couple of attempts to get this right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be grabbing lava buckets and placing it in specific spots to make the portal now let's try this out we grab a lava and we're just gonna place it slowly on this pillar it turns to obsidian perfect and we're gonna place another one here so let's grab that place it there make sure you're aiming in the right spot because if i accidentally place like lava there and it turned it to obsidian the whole portal won't work so just keep that in mind same thing we're gonna grab our lava place it on the side of the pillar and then the second one, and we have our portal starting to take shape. Now right here, here, and here is where the other obsidian is going to go. So if we just go like this, grab some lava, and place one right here. Make sure it's not on that block. That will block up your water. We're just keeping the portal shape going. We're going to grab another lava bucket, place it right there. Now, if you don't have obsidian down here, and this looks about the same as mine, the portal should be complete. We can just grab our water, should drain away, like so. 
and we can light the portal. Alright, so that portal is now finished. Let me show you how to make the portal in a lava ravine. Now you might be thinking, Atriox, how do you make a portal in a magma? Well, first of all, if you don't know what a magma ravine is, this. Alright, so we are in an ocean seed now. This is where we can find what's called the magma ravine. Like I said, this is probably something that your inventory would look like at this stage, the speed run. Now, we have to craft some specific stuff if you're going to go for an ocean. We're going to craft what's a boat, which is like this, and doors. I'll show you why we craft the doors in a moment, but that's what. That's what we're going to need to craft. Alright, so this is what a magma ravine should look like. It's kind of like a crack in the ocean floor. And it has this magma and obsidian on the floor. So, what we're going to be looking for is a L shape like this. Now, an L shape could be somewhere in here. It could be right there. It could be right there or even there. But just to keep things simple, I'm just going to head over here. What we're going to do for, from here is we're going to swim down. And from one of these corners, not this one, this one or this one, we're going to mine it. And we're going to place a door right here and stand in this door. Now, behind these two mantle pieces, we're going to place some doors. And this is going to stop water from flowing in. Now, the magma you just picked up from mining this one that was we would be standing on right now you're gonna place it on top of this one in front of you and mine the bottom one now we have access to the lava now this is the cool part we are standing on a giant lava lake but it's just covered up now we need an empty bucket for this if you have water it's just gonna ruin it so just make sure you place it out there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the lava in front of us and to the side, not with the other corner, the one on the opposite where there's obsidian, not this, the other side of this, we're going to place this. And this is going to make up one, two pieces of obsidian. And now we're going to aim for behind this obsidian block, piece of lava right there. And we're going to place it right on this door right here above this block. How you can remember this, this in front of it goes there, behind it goes where that door is. It's basically pulling it up and we're gonna grab the one under this door later and put it there. So what we're gonna do, jump up, place the lava above the magma, come back down. Now we're going to grab the back left corner like so. Just aim for right there, and you should be able to get it. And we're just going to crouch and place it on this door like so. The top, not the bottom, right there. And we can see the portal is starting to form slowly. Now, we need to, and I, the other corner, we have to grab the lava under this one, or it will turn that into a obsidian block, and the portal will be broken. We're just going to place this on the far side of the magma. So you can see two blocks wide. That's what the normal portal size is. And now we're just going to break the magma. You can just place blocks around you like this. And grab the water. To drain it out. You have the water running through. You mine the cobble. Right. And you're going to pick up the water. Now we just need to fill these two in with obsidian. And how we do that, we're just going to place our water outside of the portal. And mine these two cobble, this stone right there. Now, if it's a two deep, then it'll automatically fill. But if it's a one deep, you're going to have to do this process. You're going to mine out this and grab some lava and just place it where they're going to be. Boom. Now we grab our water. We put it on top, we mine this cobble that will form, and now we have the portal done. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. 
if you didn't get the first time, it will take a couple of attempts. Most people do take quite a few attempts at getting this. Also, I will be linking RecRap's tutorial in the description. It really, really will help you out in speedrunning in general. And if you didn't get these portals from my perspective, you would definitely get it from RecRap's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.